In Washington, D.C., the National Archives Museum stands as a keeper of America's most cherished historical documents. But for the third consecutive day, the rotunda remains closed after two climate activists armed with pink powder targeted the U.S. Constitution. Donald Cepeda and Jackson Green are now charged with defacing and destroying federal property. We're calling for all people to have all these rights, not just wealthy white men. We all deserve clean air, water, food, and a livable climate. We don't want to see our children have to have to the end of civilization, but that's the path we're coming the historic document is undamaged and still locked away. Analysis showed the powder was a blend of pink pigment and cornstarch chosen for its high visibility. Court documents reveal that the aftermath of their demonstration could cost the National Archives Department more than $15,000 in cleaning and inspection fees. National Archives officials are calling it a deplorable act of vandalism, saying the National Archives Museum is working with federal law enforcement agencies to ensure the perpetrators are prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. After the arrest, Green told investigators, President Joe Biden must immediately declare a formal state of climate emergency to save the country from collapse. Investigators found out that the two were involved with Declare Emergency, a climate change awareness campaign. The group was hosting a three-day Valentine's Week love in action aimed at drawing attention to environmental issues. Declare emergency has been part of a number of nonviolent protests in the states. And according to reports, Zapata was arrested the day before the archives event during another love in action protest that blocked the George Washington Memorial Parkway, causing a six mile traffic jam. Green also has a history of climate activism arrest. Last year, he was arrested for vandalizing a memorial dedicated to a prominent African-American Civil War unit at the National Gallery of Art. Following Wednesday's incident, Metro Police have barred Green from entering D.C. except for legal matters.